What's going on guys? Hey, I want to talk to you about the three phases, three, that's six, three phases that we find ourselves in as human beings at almost any juncture of our life. So let's dig into it. So I've been doing a lot of reading, a lot of introspective reading about character development, core values, understanding purpose, and really getting very clear about where I want to take my life, where I want to invest my time, and what I want to be doing. And one of the books that I have read recently was talking about the three phases that we are always in as human beings. We are either in an aspiring phase, which means that we have sort of goals and ambitions. We're building towards something. We are in a success phase where we've like achieved it. Like we got the job we wanted or we've got a successful business or we're in failure. And failure is one of those things that you can teeter on the fence and it can really take you off track or it can motivate and inspire you to jump back into the aspire bucket. Say I learn what I know from failure. I know what not to do now, and now I need to take that and use that as fuel and motivation to go forward. And failure, when recognized, helps you get back to aspiring to your next level of greatness. And I found these concepts extremely fascinating because they are so actually apropos for everything that I've been thinking about and sort of contemplating for my own life. And as we look at moving into a new year where we kind of start from page one, right? I think about where am I? What am I doing? And there's aspects of being in the aspiring bucket, right? Where you've got drive and motivation and you're excited. And if you look at different phases of your life, whether it be your career, the work you're putting in, the business you're building, uh, you know, even to a degree, relationships. I aspire to have this one relationship I started last year grow into a true friendship or turn into a profitable client opportunity. Then there's the success mode. And this is where people get tripped up because they think, hey, you know, who, Jim Harbaugh, who's got it better than us? Nobody, right? Well, today that's true. But the reality is a lot of people fall back on their laurels. They either get cautious because they want to hold on to the success they've had, which means they no longer dabble in the uh, aspiring bucket, or they get complacent and think success is just going to continue to come. So they stop putting in the work and putting in the effort, or they just get lazy and expect success to continue to follow them. And as we know, life changes on a dime. And so we are have to always be diligent and uh, cognizant of that. And then failure itself has uh, lessons that can be learned, but they also can be defining moments for us. And failure, if we allow it, can be a great teacher, but it also has the ability to undermine your confidence, to tell you what you can't do, to what you can't accomplish. And it keeps people mired down in, you know, we've all met these people, right? That, you know, one thing after another happens to them, you know, seems like the gray cloud of bad luck follows them and they basically stay stuck in failure. And you want to shake them and say, you've got so much promise and so much potential, but you got to get out of your own way. Or you have to take this class or you have to try for that next rung on the career ladder. You have to quit letting yourself play the role of victim. And I found when I look at the various aspects of my life that I could fall into any one of those three categories depending on what I'm looking at, what I'm examining, and what I'm exploring. And as I start the new year, I wanted to think about this and I wanted to put it forward for you to think about. Are you aspiring? Are you achieving success? Or are you mired in failure? And at each stage, there are cautionary tales to be had. Sometimes being in an aspiring uh, mindset, like I'm going to create the next Tesla but I don't know anything about cars and I don't know anything about engineering. I don't have any financial backing. Uh, makes aspiring unrealistic. <laughs> um, so you have to be cognizant of these things. But I think if you looked at your life, like where are you with your work right now? Where are you with some of your relationships? Are you in the as aspire bucket? Are you in the success bucket? Or are you in the failure bucket? And depending on where you are, sort of informs what you need to do next, what you need to drive yourself in order to get 
either out of or towards the next level. And so it's just been really fascinating to me to look at this and to explore it and thought it was worth putting out there. I'm curious, where do you find yourself? Where do you think that you might be? Are you the, in the aspire bucket? Are you in the success bucket? Are you in the failure bucket? I know for me, in a lot of respects, career-wise, uh, I'm in the success bucket, but I've also gotten you know complacent on some things. And so having this opportunity to have this inner dialogue with myself reminds me that, no, dude, you need to get hungry again. You need to continue to not rest on your laurels. You need to keep pushing forward. And so it has kicked off new things, which has driven me back to the Aspire bucket, right? Some things are successful. I'm going to leave them. I'm going to continue to maintain and focus on them, but, you know, I want to make sure that I don't get lazy there, but I also have other things I want to accomplish. I have other things I want to do. And so it reignited a flame. And then I've also looked at my relationships and some that were really successful, some that I know have potential. So I'm aspiring for next level greatness there, but I need to put in the work and the effort to get them into the success bucket. And then there have been some relationships this past year that have failed. And I need to make some determinations as to whether I'm going to go back and correct that action or I'm going to... Just let it go and learn from it. So I thought I'd share this with you because I thought it was really important and there was definitely some value. And I thought you might find by looking at your life through this lens that you might see that there could be some uh, unique application for you here as well. I wish you the best. And as always, go out there, make a difference in the world, make a difference in someone's life, and you will make a difference in your own life. And as always, ripple on.